In this video, we're going to talk about some of the ways that you can make money from the internet. E-commerce is what drives the product and service markets, both digital and non-digital, on the internet. If you have a product to sell, you can get a lot more traction by setting up a store on the internet, taking orders via your website and then delivering to the customer who may be miles away or even in another country. And this can be set up for you to sell both products and services and there are several different types of um, business model that you might want to follow. And the first one is business to business. This is where your products and services are only relevant to and only for sale to other businesses. Then you've got business to consumer and this is where your business sells products or services to the consumer at large who in this instance can be down the street or could be on the other side of the world. Then you've got consumer to consumer and this is generally via online auction sites like eBay and this is where you advertise as a non-incorporated non-business entity and start clearing out your garage and listing things for sale to other consumers. Then there's what's known as the intermediary models and these are basically affiliate programs where other vendors pay you a commission to sell their products for them. Then there are the community based models and this is where you're part of a large community of like-minded individuals and your business or your niche is only focused on that particular group of people and it's pretty much closed to all those outside of that community and a lot of networking takes place within that group of people. Now, local networking groups and local chambers of commerce fall into this category. And then there are content and information providers and these include writers and webmasters and also people who answer questions on sites like forum sites, Yahoo Answers, About.com and Wikipedia and so on. And this is where you go for answers to specific questions that you may have on any topic at all. And you can wind up a customer if your question is answered with the need to buy a product or service to solve your dilemma. More and more of these types of websites are popping up and this kind of business is generating a great deal of money for the site owners. Here are some proven ways to profit online, even if you're a total internet newcomer. There are four main areas in which people tend to gravitate when they try to make money online. And the first one is affiliate marketing, and there are lots of different programs that can fall into this category. Selling information products with master resale rights or private label rights online businesses which are automated and they're popular because you supposedly don't have to do much besides marketing and this often proves to be the hardest part of making a success with this business. And then there's network marketing or multi-level marketing otherwise known as MLM. Let's talk about affiliate marketing. Affiliate marketing in a nutshell is that you're marketing for other people you're given a unique link and it goes through to the vendor's website. When customers go there and buy, you earn a commission. The typical commission runs between 30 and 75 percent with 50 percent being the average amount. The key to success in affiliate marketing is to drive the right or targeted traffic to those pages in order to get high conversions. There are no web page skills required and you're provided with everything you need to start making money in a few minutes. Everything is set up for you with affiliate marketing. You simply need to remember to keep the traffic targeted. In order to excel at affiliate marketing, you'll want to add other methods besides straight through marketing and driving traffic straight to the offer. And this is where most people start when they're working online. Then there are information products. You know, people are always looking for information. It doesn't matter in what form the information comes. It can come in audio, video, it can be articles, ebooks, and so on. You can provide information products via affiliate links, or you can set up your own pages with turnkey information products. You can either make commissions with the former or keep all of the money with the latter. 
There are products available that have master resale rights, otherwise known as MRR, and private label rights, otherwise known as PLR. Now, they're very similar, but the main difference being with master resale rights, the people that you sell the product onto also have the right to sell it on and make a profit. Whereas with private label rights, uh, you can sell the product on, but your customers can't. That, that's the main difference. Either way, what you get is a package in a zip or compressed folder, and it comes with images, um, your website set up and an index HTML and thank you HTML pages. And you need to be able to know a little bit about HTML to work through Notepad or an HTML editor to tailor it with your information. What you do then is upload it to a server or a web host via FTP and then your sales pages are live on the web. With these type of product um, you control how much you sell the package for. So be sure and read the rights file provided with the package so that you know how you can sell it. And there's always a file that tells you what you can do with the product and it usually breaks down something like this. You can either sell it at, at a certain price, you can add it to a membership site, you can give it away for free, or you can take it apart and use it as articles. The benefits of having an information product business is that there's no inventory to buy or store because the products are digital and stored on your computer or on a website for downloading. After the customer buys your digital information product, you can redirect them to a page to download that digital product. Information is bought and sold all the time and with MRR and PLR products, you get to keep 100% of the money. You can also control how it's distributed and you can also build a list with the products. As you market to your list, you'll find that people will buy from you, you know, over and over again after buying from you the first time. Once you figure out what the market, in other words your list, is buying, you can then find other products and market them for continuous income because people are always looking for information. And then there are online businesses or biz ops, biz ops standing for business opportunities. And these online businesses are replicated flashy websites with claims of exorbitant wealth without doing too much. Now, you've probably stumbled across a biz op. And their pitch is usually a little work for a lot of income. It is possible in internet marketing and it's quite doable, but these types of businesses are very flashy and it can be good but you need to know that there's still a lot of work to get them going and this is usually in the marketing area. Biz ops usually fall into three main areas travel, information products with master resale or private label rights and education and training. While the pitch will be how easy it is to make a lot of money the overall idea is to sell the business opportunity itself and when you first go into this kind of business make sure you look at the products first. You should be able to use the products that the business provides as well as sell them because that's where you'll make your money on a constant basis. You need to be careful because most biz ops are focused on selling the business to people not the products and services of the company. Biz ops want you to believe that you can make the most money by building a huge team and this may be true but what they don't tell you is it can take years. If you join and need to make immediate money, you need to look at the viability of the products and services, not just the biz op itself. It all comes down to marketing and if you can sell the products, you can still make a good amount of money. You simply need to know what the deal is behind the hype. And finally there's network marketing. Network marketing has gotten a bad rap. It's also known as MLM or multi-level marketing and because of the company Amway it has a credibility problem. Most MLM or network marketing companies are offline companies that have come online and when you sign up you're a distributor and through you the product is sold. What you then do is to recruit other people to sell the products for you and they recruit other people and so on and everybody takes a cut and this structure is called a downline and basically what happens as you can see on the diagram here somebody recruits you you go out and recruit other people they recruit other people and so on everybody sells the products at each stage everybody takes a cut 
and the whole idea is that eventually you'll be making so much money out of the um, the cuts that you're getting out of what everybody else is selling that you won't need to sell the products anymore you can just simply sit back and the money rolls in and that's the theory and it does work in theory but it's not as simple as a lot of these MLM companies would have you believe for the business to be successful it must have a good product to sell and not just the biz op portion of it and these are usually focused in the health or services related end and this is a long-term slow growth business model in order to be successful you need to love the product you're selling and know that no matter what the sales hype says it takes a couple of years to reach a certain point and that in the meantime you're selling physical products this is not a quick hit fast influx of cash type business despite what you might be led to believe you need to sell the product first and the business opportunity should be an add-on or an oh by the way portion of an MLM business long-term residual income is the overall goal of this business so you shouldn't be dependent on your downline which can grow and contract as people come and go network marketing comes with confusing compensation plans where large numbers of people are needed to become distributors in order to depend on the downline and this takes a lot of time and the big money will come in years of work not months or days again you can only build a large customer base from which to pull distributors and the only way to get customers is if you can speak honestly about the benefits of the products and services that you're selling what you should do is pick one or a combination of these four types of businesses to build your business base these different avenues or products and services can be incorporated into your overall marketing plan for instance your list may come from an MLM customer buying base and you may find an online digital product that is in line with your list which you can sell to them as an addition to what they've already bought 